again uh, we will solve one more uh, pyramid problem here i will show you uh, what happens when when a section plane cuts the uh, base or the sides shorter sides so now our problem is uh, we will consider a pentagonal pyramid the sides of the pentagonal pyramid is 30 mm and height is 60 mm the resting condition is it rests in such a way that one of the sides uh, of the base is perpendicular to v okay so this is the resting condition in the stage so let us finish this now then we will move on to part b section line part so if we start constructing the first stage so let us draw a x y line as the condition is given one of the base side should be perpendicular to the vp i have to draw a line equal to 30 mm so now like this so this will be this will be 30 mm okay so i'm draw a 70 exterior angle 72 you know that the procedure of drawing the pentagon that is this angle will be 72 degree suppose if i mark it here this angle is also 72 degree okay so now the length is same 30 30 you are taking and take the compass take the 30 mm length cut an arc here and from here also you have to cut an arc so somewhere here you will get a two arcs that will be taken as a reference and you will be connecting like this so this will be the your uh, pentagon when one of the shorter side is perpendicular to V. So let me draw the XY line little upper so that I can uh, differentiate the lines which are coming from this. Okay, this is let me call this as XY. So now as it is a pyramid, so what we have to do is we have to name this like A, B, C, D. Let me call A, B, C, D and E. Why we are giving only one set of letters? It is a pyramid. Okay, it is a pyramid. So a pyramid will have only base, not the top. Top is an apex point here. So one set of letter will come. You have to find the center. How do we find the center? Just bisect this, draw a thin line here from here to here, and also take the other corner, any one corner, and opposite side will be bisected. So you will be drawing a one more line here. So somewhere here you will get your O1 point. So this is very very important for you. Once you complete all these things, transfer these lines to the. So if you draw it, I think this and this will be the same line. So this line you will be getting like this. Axis will be one. So it means in total four lines you will get. Okay. So and as it is a pyramid the axis line can be extended it is not merging with any other so just rise it to a given height in this problem we had given it as 60 mm height so you rise the axis by 60 mm and join this and join this so this is what we call it as joining the boundaries boundary is always visible so let me mark first whatever the boundaries we have done. So that is A will become A dash here and one more point is there that is E dash in the bracket. So here when you come so uh, B and D are there. So B dash and D dash is not visible. So but one is visible so you can also draw a thick line here. So one visible line is there and one invisible line is there. So it is a thick line. So C, when, when we come here, C is visible. So you have already done, mark this as C1 dash, okay? And this will be your O dash and O in the bracket. So when you take like this, so we have got a two points here, two points here and one point here. So two slant edges, two slant edges and one slant totally pentagon so there should be a five slant edges to it so we have got all the five here so now uh, when you read this problem we have to check with the problem whether what we have done is right or wrong so we have constructed a pentagonal pyramid to the given height the 
IT60, you have to mention that also here in the thing. So this part will complete the, your uh, statement, but one important thing in the pyramid case is, you should not forget, so this has to be, all the corners has to be connected to the access point. So if you do not do this, so then your problem will become wrong. So one important thing you have to follow is, all the corners has to be joined to the O, O1 point here. So also this you can draw it a thick. So this is a top view representation, so you can make this also thick. So the top view will be like this, the colored what I have the front view will be, as you know, this will be the front view. This will be the front view for you. So with three thick lines and one axis. This is an axis line. Okay, this is an axis line. So now we will be moving to part B. Part B is now with respect to the section. What do we have to do? He says the both the section plane meets at the axis at its mid height. So mid height means mark 30 mm now. So at the center you can draw one line. So this will be the your mid height. Correct? This will be the your mid height. Now you have to draw a 160 degree line and the another one a horizontal line. So let me take 0. So 20, 30, 40 like that. So one line will be say like this, so like this, so assume this is 60 degree line, now other one will be horizontal line, like this, so both are meeting at the axis like this, okay, so there are two section planes, one is this and the another one is, as per the given problem there are two section planes which are, one is at 60 degree and the other one is horizontal, once you complete this, the next step is to give a number to this. So, and also draw a true length line from here. Let, let me take the true length. You, you should check these lines. Now, one of the OC is already parallel. So, you need not to do anything. So, you already this line is there. So, this will become your true length line. This is very, very important. You have to identify the TL line. So, TL line and its distance, you have to measure it also. I don't know, I will measure and tell you. Now, I am calling it as X only. So, let me write X here, but I will give you value of that X. So, so this is the true length line. After finding the true length line, let, let us start numbering from the left side. I will be uh, giving a numbers now from the left. So, Take, there are two slant edges here, OA and OE. One is visible, that is OA is visible. So we have to give one dash to that OA. Okay. Then we will move here. It is cutting the axis, but we should number it here. Why I will tell you. So when you drop it down here, it is cutting the sides. So means it is cutting the base. When it is cutting the base, I have already told any problem which is cutting the base will have a two points. So, one is visible, this is visible and the another one is invisible. Let me give two dash to this visible, two, okay. So, two dash I have given. Now, invisible one we will give later. So, we will move on to the next line. Out of this, we have two in that, we have OB and OD. OB is visible. Let me give three dash to OB. So, now I will be moving to the next C. So, only one is there, I will give four. So, that is also visible. And when we move back, there is a one invisible here. So, that will be called as five dash. Five dash in the bracket. Okay. I am giving a bracket here because that is invisible. Now, when we move to this midpoint, we had given one for the visible, that is two here. So, two number is given to the visible. But for this, we have not given. So, that has to be given and as 6. So, 6 will be 6 dash here because that is invisible. So, let me call this a 6 now here. Yeah. So, now move down, move down here like this. So, when you move like this, 
there are two, one only we had given, so OE is left out, so that will be given as 7 dash in the bracket, so this is how you have to number it, I will repeat once again, just this is very very important, as more number of points comes, you have to listen here, 1 for OA, ok, 2 for this side, front side, 2, and next when we move, OB is visible for that 3, and next OC is visible for that 4, reverse, the OD is invisible for that in the bracket 5, next I am come here for this back side points, cutting the short side is 6, so this is 6 dash, and when I move here, OE is there which is invisible for that bracket 7 dash, so this is how you have to number that first. So once if you number this, you have to transfer all this to the true length line. So whereas this is already in the true length, so this you have to transfer, this you have to transfer, okay. So that means you can say 1 dash, comma 7 dash, 2 dash and 6 dash are in the same distance. So whereas 3 dash and comma 5 dash, 5 dash are in the uh, other, other distance, that is here. So and this is already that means three lines you can draw perpendicular line one, call one as uh, x this I will give you the value so second one is this so draw a perpendicular line call this as y and third one is draw perpendicular lines from here so call this as z so there are totally three distances that you get on the true length line so. Uh, we have to take those distances. Take the radial line method. Mark the first point that is your O. So we will be starting from OA. So just any one radial line equal to the true length line. So this is equal to TL. Now I will tell you what is the length of the true length according to the problem. It is 65.2. So 65.2. So true length was 65.2. So for that length, draw an arc here. For the same radius, how many compartments you have to make? You have to make it into five compartments first. So of distance equal to 30, 30. So one, two, three, four. And last one is 5. So let me take this as 5. So now this is OA for me, OB, okay, OC, OD, OE back to A. So let us join these thin lines from OB, OC, OD, OE. So, how many compartments you will get initially? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, it is a pentagon, you will get that. But one more important thing we have to uh, take here. So, these distances you have to mark it. Okay. So, the distances means, so we have to mark the uh, point number 6 and 2 on the uh, distances where, which is in the middle. Which 6 is not now on D or on E. It is in the middle on the side. So we have to mark that distance here and this distance also you have to mark. That is the important uh, point here in the base cutting problems. One important thing in the base cutting problem is this distance and this distance. But however, as uh, they are similar, so the distances of this and this are same that is equal to 21.7. But one important thing what you have to do is, so this distance now from E or here from A. So from A 21.71 means from A you have to mark a distance of 21.71 and mark a point here. And similarly from E towards D the same distance that is 21.71 here. Na? So that will be from E. So from E this is our E. So from E we will be marking a distance of 21.71. So we are getting an additional two points here, we are getting an additional two points here, from those points just draw a thin lines, draw a thin lines to the O. So I am giving a different color to this, so, so that you can understand how it has come, 
Okay. I am given. I have given a different colors to these two lines. They are important because they are the base cutting point. So now you can start marking here. So what is the distances we have to take? So first uh, point number one is on OA. OA distance is here. This distance that is Z distance. So take that as Z value and whatever the value you get, you mark it here on A. So this is your uh, Z distance. So you have to take this distance z distance from here to here so we have to mark a point here and represent that as 1 here so 1 is on the line OA so it is written on OA and also uh, you can write the same distance here on the 1 so this is also back 1 so we can finish both first so then I will move on to 2 so 2 and 6 belongs to the uh, side shorter side so now 2 is on the line here so on this line means the same distance again this distance so z distance but here so this will be 2 this will be 2 ok so next uh, move on to point number 3 3 is on OB so but you have to take a distance of y here so see this we have transferred to the true line and this is the distance that is your y distance y distance is little shorter comparatively let me take that as 3 ok and next is 4 4 distance is x so still shorter that is on the line OC OC is 4 so mark that distance OC and when we move back 5 5 is on the line OD so but the distance is y so take OD this distance and call this as 5 and move to the axis where base is cut ok that is 6 so 6 has to be marked on the new line that you have taken means on the green line that you have taken but the distance equal to z so z distance means almost like this and so let me take approximately that distance and mark 6 here and then move here so 7 7 is again the z value so you can mark 7 here on the OE. So, but in total, total 7 points were there. We have marked all the 7 points here and back 1. Okay, total 8 points were marked. So, after marking the, this, just join using stripe lines all these 1, 2, 3, 4 points. So, just take scale and join these points. So, and also the retaining portion is this. So, you have to draw a straight lines here because it is a pyramid. So, this line has to be made straight, straight lines here at the bottom. So, that, that line including this portion you have to darken because that is the retaining portion. Okay, so let me now uh, give a color to this retained portion. So this is the dialogue. 